that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. It looks like a generator or something like a dark here. Probably is very dark. It's too dark to continue. Yeah. I might lose my way. Look at this. That looks like a ventilation duct. It does. All right, so we're going to need some tools to get the generator started. And the only other place we've been able to access so far is that giant rolling statue. So let's go back to that because it did make a halfway stop which will uh, allow us to like here to, to access that whatever this is Even though um, the uh, atmosphere in this place is obviously less uh, charming as the previous two places, Valla de Lenne and Barockstadt uh, University, I still quite like the design. It's still very atmospheric and in, a, in an industrial way, uh, very beautiful still, in my opinion. a shed. Good thing he left his metal clippers behind. And that they fit in my jacket pocket. Let's go in. And ransack the place. Nothing here. Let's look through the window. So industry the storage there we go that seems to be useful this thing we can't go there I can't go that way no but yeah spark plugs so that should help us with the generator so that we can have some light Our giant machine. And backwards. And all the way back to the lift. So now we've got a spark plug so we can turn on the generator, hopefully. Get some light in the tunnel. Another phone call. Yes? Kate, can you hear me this time? Yes, I can hear you just perfectly, Dan, but I can't talk to you now. I'm in a real hurry. I wanted to say sorry. I know I wasn't very understanding last time. I've been feeling a bit bad about it. 
Okay, you're a real sweetheart, but I've got to leave you now. I'm not angry with you, so don't worry. I've just got to catch up to someone, and quick. But Kate, Kate, this is really important. I'll call you back, Dan. I'm sorry. Well, we really don't have that much time. If a maniac is stealing hands off. Poor defenseless automatons. Probably not very safe here. Another lift. Do I call it? I don't need to do that. No. <laughs> that door is locked. feeling I forgot to pick something up. Or maybe I didn't. In any case, there's nothing we can do here. I think we need to get up that ladder, but we need to take that plate off first. So we need a screwdriver. There might be one up here. What's that? An organ player. There we go. And that looks to be Oscar's hands. But we've got a screwdriver so we can go up the ladder now. Go confront the thief. This monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Monorail. Here he is, Mr. Thief. Hey, you. Who are you? Careful, I'm warning you. I'm not afraid of you, okay? What do you want? Why did you do that? There must be some misunderstanding. Because you reckon theft is all about misunderstanding, do you? Give me my hands back, now! Your hands? And what are those on the ends of your arms? I can explain everything to you. You see, I'm no thief. You broke into my train, assaulted my driver, mutilated him and stole his hands. Apart from that, you are not a thief. I have not stolen them, miss. Only borrowed them for a while. You've got to be joking. I'm not joking with you, miss. I would never take such liberties. They belong to Oscar, my automaton engineer. Why did you steal them? 
They are extraordinary. Real mechanical wonders. I would never have been capable of designing such hands myself. Never. Such workmanship. Such precision crafting. It is... It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And just because you like them, you decided to steal them? I have only borrowed them, little missy. Temporarily, you understand? Of course, I shall return them to you when I don't need them anymore. You can... Excuse me? You see, these hands are all I need to complete my plan. At last, I can finish off my automaton pianist and fulfill my dreams. Everything is now in place. You see, I have converted this old, useless, stupid factory into a magical theater. As you can see, the furnaces, piping, chimney stacks, they've all been converted into one gigantic organ. I will be able to accompany the world's greatest living singer. Now, all I need is her. <gasps> That's not creepy at all. Uh, introductions, I guess. Who are you? Sergei Borodin, the director of the industrial city of Komkolsgrad. Or what is left of it, at least. But who are you, for that matter? And why have you stopped in my station without authorization? I didn't choose to stop in your station, but my train has a technical problem. My name is Kate Walker, and I'm an American lawyer. It is very kind of you to come so far just to visit this place. Uh, I repeat again, I never intended to stop here. I'm on a business trip. I'm a lawyer, goddammit. Right. And what? brings you here? Like I said, a stupid mechanical pitch. I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails out of your story at all. Without my engineer's hands, I'm stuck here, you see? Everything I have designed, all that I have invented, everything is for her. Do you realize her? Oh, to hear her sing one more time here in my factory! But who is she? Who are you talking about? Helena. The one and only Helena Romansky. Her voice is so pure, like an angel. One day she came here to Komkolsgrad. She sang here, you know, when our industrial city was in its heyday. Oh, so long ago now. It was almost unreal. It was magical. I remember it like it was yesterday. Then, later, a long time later, she saved my soul. She saved my life and gave it meaning. When I was told that the mining program was to be abandoned, that this industrial city was consigned to oblivion, that I, its director, would, from then on, be nothing but a guardian of these rusting remains of a bygone age. That is when I first formed my plan to bring Helena Romansky back to this factory. But this time, she would sing for me, and me alone. And is she okay about this? Sure, sure. Once she finds out that I have done all this for her, when she realizes how I converted this vast network of pipes and tubes to create one of the most impressive organs ever made. Then, you know, this was no small achievement, miss. Once molten iron flowed through here, now there wafts only beautiful melodies. But then I realized I had to make an automaton pianist. I began to despair that I would never create hands that were intricate enough. But then you arrived. So lucky, don't you think? 
<laughs> yeah, that must have been a happy coincidence for someone around here. So, when will this Madame Romansky come back? When do I get my hands back? I don't know. Maybe someone should look for her. Tell her. Hey, why don't you go? The quicker you bring her back, the sooner you can carry on your business trip. Now, isn't that a good idea? And you promise that once Helena has sung, you will give me back my automaton's hands? I promise, my dear. You have my solemn word. Well, I guess I'm going to have to believe you. Where should I go hunting for this singer, then? I have no idea. <laughs> but for a woman of the world like yourself, finding her should pose no obstacle. Helena Romansky was a world celebrity, you know. I have collected many objects, souvenirs of her that I keep in a room. A shrine to her glory. It's like her own personal museum in a way. You should take a look. Bit of a creepy stalker getting a phantom of the opposite side. This whole story is completely nuts. <laughs> it is. Uh, yes, he, he, if he was a director of this facility, he probably met Hans at some point. You mentioned an automaton pianist, didn't you? Where did you find it? I pieced it together myself, my dear. Except for the hands, that is. I admit that I underestimated the intricacy of this part of the design. A pianist's hands are very important, after all. But enough. Now he has a perfect set of hands. Your passion amazes me. Have you designed any other automatons here? No. Clockwork mechanisms do not interest me as such. I simply needed a robot capable of accompanying Helena Romansky on my huge organ. <laughs> I adapted an existing model, a reject automaton secretary. I reconstructed it and adapted it to this new function. An existing model, you say? Did you ever know Hans Vorlberg? He was a kind of mechanical genius, like yourself. Hans Vorlberg? Yes, or maybe, I don't know, no, no. Sure, I understand. The number of automatons still functioning in this abandoned complex is amazing, though. My dear, one thing is for sure. For many years, I have been totally alone here. If that man ever came to this city, he left long, long ago. I guess I'll go check out that room he's got, his stalker room. Please excuse me. I have to go now. So be it. <laughs> 